When you need advice, come to Ben and Kelly. It's group therapy on 99.7 DJX. All right, we need some healthcare professionals to assemble for Bianca. Hey, Ben and Kelly, thought I'd toss this out because I thought it was odd, and you guys are kind of my odd police, if oh, you will. Thank LOL. you. By the way, before we get started, Karen <laughs> did text in and said, I've watched 20 seasons of Grey's Anatomy, so I'm basically oh. a doctor, too. Okay, we're going to go ahead and include her. <laughs> okay, yes. so she can, yeah. she can be in the, in the inner circle. She can be a consultant, of course. <laughs> anyway, I have a tendency to be a bit of a hypochondriac, my... Parents died young, so I guess I want to be super on top of my health and catch any problems early so it's treatable. I spent a lot of time with my doctor. And the other day, I noticed that while I was talking about my lower abdominal pains, he was looking stuff up on his iPad. Mm -hmm. That'd be cool if you're not a doctor. And he ruled some things out, wrote me a prescription, sent me on my way. And I wonder, did my doctor just Google my symptoms? Wait, did, does she know that he was actually Googling the symptoms? That she Apparently, yes. Okay. Is this normal in healthcare? I know you have many doctors that listen, so I'm curious because I thought they always <laughs> want you not to Google your symptoms or diagnosis. Yeah. Uh, I, I <laughs> It's funny because I've seen like TikToks and Reels where uh, the patient is it, it's it's shot from the patient's point of view pov and uh-huh. the, it's a little video of is my doctor googling my symptoms and it's like zooming in on the doctor in the other room and they can see the screen and they're yes. typing in the symptoms well there was a viral video of a doctor <laughs> like googling how to properly wrap a sprained ankle yeah well look, and you know a lot of i i have seen other doctors online say well, it's impossible to know everything off the top of your yeah, head. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, to to have that sort of knowledge about everything is next to impossible because I, I've got to think that, especially in the medical profession, you're going to find things and see things every day that are just a little different. And, you know, things can be masked as other things. And so, sure. you, you know, and obviously you want to be sure. And maybe there is a... It's like a refresher course. I mean, more but, than like learning it for the first time. But but I'm saying maybe the doctors know the the prompts to ask Google so they know they're getting something that's actually like legit as opposed to just you and I just com- a lay person commoners who are uh-huh. who are uh, uh punching into the keyboard. Why does my butt hurt? Oh wow. Please tell me that you haven't looked that up. Who hasn't? <laughs> I'm sorry, Kelly. That's too vague. I, I express a little bit of vulnerability here. Ah, and gotcha. And <laughs> you come down on me like it's some sort uh-huh. of crime that my butt hurts every now and then. <laughs> Why are you just, again, oversharing <laughs> is an instance where we're oversharing. <laughs> And you could have said any other part of your body. <laughs> you could have said, my tooth hurts. What are the possible causes? Well, Kelly. But you went for butt? It's this because we're sharing? It's because I'm not making things up. Uh, okay. But uh, all right. I'm saying that was my most recent symptom. Great. <laughs> Thank you again Everything for is sharing. Fine now. Thank you for asking. <sighs> Great. I don't want to ask about the treatment. I don't, don't want to ask, ask about, about the treatment. Yeah, I don't want. I don't want to know what you had to do to Creams. get your butt feeling better again. I don't need to know. I'm already angry that we're here. <laughs> my my wife used rubber gloves. Stop it! <laughs> Stethoscope. Not really sure why, but anyway. Zach on Facebook <laughs> says it's normal. Doctors don't know everything, and the good ones are constantly educating themselves. New or See? rare diseases, for instance, pop up on their patients. They try and help you, or they will refer you to a specialist. My yeah. disease only affects 12 to 15 percent of the population, so my cardiologist got his book out. Yeah. He reached out to other specialists like him, and together you know, they have me on the best treatment plan. Okay. Yeah, see, see, uh, th- to me that almost sounds like it's it, it's almost comforting to know. Okay, you know, they're human; they don't know necessarily everything, but they want to make He's sure that research. they're they, yeah they, they want to make sure that they're steering you in the right direction. So, uh, anyways, would love to hear some of your stories. Maybe you've got a story about this that you you can legally share. Uh, maybe your butt hurt too. You know, <sighs> anyone, anyone. <laughs> All right, 502-795-1997 is our number. Thank you for being a part of the Ben and Kelly Show this morning. Yes, yes, I've taken a half a semester of pre-med. <laughs> you 
wear that with such a badge of honor. <laughs> it was it equates to really what three weeks? You said three yeah, weeks, three maybe, weeks, maybe. Yeah, and you bailed. Yeah, counting orientation probably. Yeah, <laughs> count. Okay. <laughs> so I made it pretty far. I would yeah. say in my yeah. uh, in my uh, doctor journey, uh, but I wound up in radio because you know hashtag for the fame and women. But <laughs> uh, we got a message from <laughs> Bianca, who was like, "Hey, I caught my doctor uh, googling my symptoms. Is that normal in healthcare?" Yeah, a lot of people are chiming in. Molly says it's normal as long as the sources are for doctors and not just a random Google search. Doctors have access to medical journals and databases uh, that we don't, and that makes perfect sense. They would access them. They aren't walking encyclopedias. Yeah, Nicole rolls in. Nurse here. Work closely with several doctors. Perfectly normal. We research, look things up, collaborate with each other and other physicians all day, every day. Sounds like a good doctor to me. See, like, Absolutely. yeah, I mean, that's kind of like what I said earlier and it's like i i almost feel comfort in in not having the doctor just guess right like, like oh well that sounds like it could be a hemorrhoid ben uh you know you're talking about your butt hurting and stuff okay that's that's <laughs> we're back to the butt pain now okay and i'm like okay. i'm like no it's not necessarily there it's more here and he's like well i would just uh take a couple swipes of elderberry juice and Rub that on there and see if that clears things up. <laughs> okay. So, yes, it is. It's good that you want the doctors to be sure. Just double check. Uh, by the way, uh, Eve Mill J texted. I have this hilarious image of Kelly in a room with HR and they're asking her, could you just rein him in a little bit? And Kelly just has to sit there and say, if I could do that, I would have done it years ago. Oh. So calmly stands up, walks out, bends there at the door, ready to do the helicopter. And she just rolls her eyes and moves on. <laughs> do the helicopter. <laughs> You think I would do that at work? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, anyway, you guys are great. Keep doing what you're doing. At least we are not brain surgeons. Could you imagine? <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> All right. But no, yes, from, from what everyone is saying, like medical professionals, and yes, it's a very collaborative kind of a situation, and, you know, just double-checking there are yeah, so many, ma- when you think of it, it makes my brain hurt, when you think about all of the different possibilities of ailments and injuries and all the things that it, your body is very complicated. Yeah, um, Karen did roll in and say, I asked this once um, to my doctor if he's Googling. He said that they have a specific website that only doctors can use and it helps them narrow it down. Was he lying and actually Googling my symptoms? I don't know. But, no, I yeah. t- totally believe yeah. that. No, I, I believe that too, and I think that that's probably the case. I mean, I hope they have like this some sort of like doctor search engine where they like type in all the symptoms, and it was just like and then spits out the diagnosis, and it's like, okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like you spin the wheel. What's it going to come up with? Yeah, and between you know Gray's Anatomy and House and yeah. ER, we're all kind of. Experts. I mean, we all kind of know, right? We watched on a regular basis. I mean, that Anyways. how the house that was the entire premise yeah. is getting very difficult, hard to figure out medical situations and, and figuring you spend it out. Entire episode trying yeah. to figure it out. Yeah, and trying to figure that stuff out. Yeah, so good stuff. All right, hopefully we at least eased your um, anxiety a little bit on this. Beyond, like it's so. fine. Looks yeah. like they're they're doing all the right things. Yeah. Trying to keep you helping figure exactly. out the right answer. Exactly. We can just move away from Ben's butt. That'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> all right, there you go. That's group therapy. <laughs>